Hello, Ashley here, and today I'm going to talk about my giant checkerboard K-State quilt. I'll put a picture up now so you can actually see it. As you can see from the picture, this is a huge quilt. Um, I originally wanted to do a zigzag quilt, which I'll put a picture of that up now, um, that I wanted to do, but um, I messed up. <laughs> Imagine that when I was cutting the material and so it wouldn't come together correctly. So I had to alter my plans and make a checkerboard style instead. I'm fairly happy with it. Um, it's like I said, it's not what I was envisioning, but it worked out and it's very soft. I graduated from Kansas State University in May of 2011. And I had a ton of K-State t-shirts because I liked getting them. <laughs> I liked and still like free t-shirts. So I ended up with a whole bunch of those and then I had some for various other activities. And I had 32 K-State t-shirts. And so I actually took pictures of each of these steps that I took. So I'll be able to put the pictures up and talk about what I did. I used the 12 by 12 inch stencil to cut out blocks from the t-shirts and then I cut those into two inch strips. I then matched two different colors together and sewed along one edge by putting the fronts together and then cut those into two inch strips. I then alternated the different colors deciding which ones I wanted to put together and sewed those together. A lot of pinning involved in this. I decided what colors and t-shirts I wanted together before I started actually sewing and so there was a lot involved with keeping it in order with uh, A, B, C, D and making sure everything was in the correct order. Um, the quilt I ended up using a giant gray sheet on the back and had to get two of them because it the size of the quilt was too large for just one sheet and so I sewed those together and I quilted just down the strips of shirts so each segment is actually two shirts so like this one is the, a teal shirt and then a, a gray shirt put together and for the most part I just took the shirt cut them into two inch squares and then alternated the colors uh, with another square shirt. So if you're looking at it the right way, you can see the shirts and how what they're supposed to look like. So like right there you can see gray that says K-State and uh, West 5 because I lived in West Hall on the fifth floor. Um, okay, stay proud. So this quilt is fun and it has a lot of memories wrapped up in it. I learned a lot from this quilt. Um, testing more of the dimensions before you start going then the rectangles just would not fit together to do the zigzag that I was hoping. This was the second quilt I made after my vacation quilt and this was one that I made up the pattern for. I was started trying to do a zigzag pattern, but then I realized I messed up, so I just went with it and created this giant checkerboard um, pattern. Thank you for watching. Like, subscribe, come back soon, and I'll have another video for you. Bye.